In Summers Point, New Jersey, where whiteout conditions, as you can see, are evident. Around a foot of snow has come down in this area. Blizzard warning remains in effect. And those wind gusts are going to continue to stay on the strong side even after the snow stops. So some big concerns after the storm of some blowing and drifting and frigid conditions. We also have some video to share with you. New just in out of the Boston area where there's been significant coastal flooding taking place. This all coincided, unfortunately, with high tide and brought water inland. We have lots of reports of floodwaters in East Boston as well as into the seaport area. Garbage dumpsters were visible floating down some of these roadways. Winter storm Grayson isn't just about snow, though. There's also sleet and freezing rain in spots. Reynolds Wolf, along with an expert from State Farm, tell you what you need to know. Winter is here, and that means snow, but you know what? That's not the only form of precipitation you can get this time of year. I'm here with State Farm Technology Research Director Chris Mullen to explain how we get snow, sleet, and freezing rain, and why ice happens to be potentially the most dangerous. That's right, Reynolds. You know, winter weather can cause large power outages, slip and fall injuries, and just makes travel treacherous. It certainly can. Let's talk about those three different types of winter precipitation, and let's begin with snowfall. Now, snow. This is the coolest of all, literally. Uh, snow forms high up in the atmosphere. Let's say way up here, like 10,000 feet or so. So as long as the entire atmosphere is below the freezing point, all the way to the ground, you're going to get beautiful, beautiful snowflakes. But here's where there's a wrinkle. If there's a warm layer in the atmosphere, the snow can actually melt. But if there's a cold layer right below it, these wet flakes or raindrops actually freeze and they land as sleep pellets. Now, another wrinkle. If that cold layer is not deep enough, then the precipitation makes it all makes it way it's all the way down to the surface where the temperature is equal to or actually below 32 degrees, and then you've got ice everywhere, and that is where you have all the problems. That's right. So you know these icy roads are responsible for hundreds of fatalities each year. It's best not to drive at all during an ice storm, but if you do find yourself in icy conditions, don't use cruise control. Understand your vehicle. You know, snow tires and four-wheel drive, that can help get you going, but it is not going to help you stop. Everything is colder than 32 degrees. You see everything collecting ice. One of the most susceptible areas, what you just saw right there, the trees. You have a quarter inch of ice. can increase the weight of a branch up to 300%. Right. And this is another reason why it's a good idea to have your car in a garage during the winter. There you go. But never warm your car in a closed garage. Remember to make sure you know how to manually open your garage if your power is out. Also, coat the rubber seal with either a silicone or cooking spray so you can open it when it freezes. What a great idea. Never knew that one. You know, speaking of power going out, ice can quickly grow on power lines and cause outages. In fact, get this, between the poles, a quarter inch of ice can add 500 pounds of additional weight. That's right. So if you do lose power this winter and you don't have a backup generator, be sure to have flashlights on hand instead of using an open flame. Have extra batteries with you. Also, a manual can opener to open non-perishable food. Lastly, keep your pipes in mind. Open the cabinet doors below the sinks, start a slow drip, and that will help keep them from freezing. Mm. All good tips to keep you prepared and make life go right after the storm this winter. Well, not everything's right on the roads here in Norfolk, Virginia. We still have a lot of snow. This is a parking lot here at the Hampton Roads Naval Museum. And as you look around, a very little pavement can we see right now? In fact, I can dig down a little ways and we're down about an inch or so. This has been plowed, if, if you can uh, imagine that. And I can see downtown from here and there are a lot of roads that don't look too much different than this. So it's gonna be a while. This snow is gonna help cool things down, factor in the wind, dangerous wind chills tonight. Wind chill advisory in effect overnight tonight. Stay with us, our continuing coverage of Winter Storm Grayson in frozen America.